Well, here we are on the first Friday of Lent, 2010. Are you still struggling as to trying to make up your mind on what to give up for Lent? I am just a little bit. My dear friends in Christ, Lent invites us, invites us to uh, look into perhaps three areas to strengthen our relationship with Jesus Christ. The area specifically of prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. Prayer, and I don't necessarily mean more prayer, but better prayer. The kind of prayer that really you can feel united with God, who wants to be united with you as well. Almsgiving the sharing with others. And that's not always material things, but to share the time that God so freely gives us. Why not share it with others? As an example, a friend of mine shared with me last year that it was, she was rushing for the bus stop to go shopping, and she had this stuff that she wanted to buy. As she was rushing to get the bus, this homeless person stopped her and asked her for some change. She stopped. She looked at the person right in the eye and said, are you hungry? The person said, yes, I am. My friend said, well, come with me. I will buy you a meal tonight in the condition that I can eat with you. A year later, my friend continues to get together with that newfound friend. They share time together and, of course, their friendship. She talks about her faith and listens to the now no longer homeless person in sharing the faith that she's learned about through my friend. Also, the act of fasting. And it is not necessarily from food, but perhaps from things like the internet, the cell phone, other ways of technology, and perhaps, as a friend of mine said, gossiping. Not that you're involved in it, but just in case, to fast from it. And you know, that bag of chips up in the kitchen cupboard, let it go. It will still be there after Easter, and then you can enjoy one little bit of a time. Whatever it is that you find is within your comfort zone to do this Lenten, don't please don't do it as a duty, but do it out of love. Do it out of showing control over your human, your physical needs to therefore enrich your relationship with Jesus Christ. Thus, the meaning of Lent a time to give up some of the things we don't really need and to take on what we really do need to get to know Jesus much better. I close in quoting to you from a very wonderful priest, Father Joseph Krampa, who writes on today's readings, and I quote, A careful observance of Lent enables us to learn something about ourselves, about others, and about God. May your journey this Lent be one of understanding and getting to know yourself, getting to know others, and most of all, getting to know and strengthening your relationship with God, who wants you to celebrate with him in eternity and forever. God bless you, and have a beautiful Lenten journey. Please join me in the acknowledging our needs for God's support through these days of prayer, alms, and fasting. Let us humbly pray that the hungry of the world will be satisfied to our deeds. We pray to the Lord. Amen that those who have grown lukewarm in their faith may return to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For our soldiers and all who work for peace, we pray to the Lord. 
for those preparing to embrace the Catholic faith. We pray to the Lord. For the intentions of our television viewers like you and supporters, we pray to the Lord. For Jane and her husband, Alex McKenzie, and the souls of those for whom we now one prays, may they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Father, we make these prayers through your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, through this Lent and Eucharist, may we grow in your love and service and become an acceptable offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do all always and everywhere to give you thanks. This great season of grace is your gift to your human, to your family, to renew us in spirit. You give us strength to purify our hearts, to control our desires, and so to serve you in freedom. You teach us how to live in this passing world with our hearts set on a world that will never end. And now, with all the saints and angels, we praise you forever. We come to you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church. Watch over it, Lord, and guide it. Grant it your peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you the sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. 